What is going on, guys? Newton here with MMO Play. Bring your first look and impressions video into World War II trading card game. Now, this is a free to play online trading card game played through your browser. So, here we are. We have just logged into the game. Uh, you can download this game on iOS and mobile devices, other mobile devices such as Android and uh, your Apple devices. But you can also play this game on Facebook and Congregate.com. So, there, this game um, does have quite a few different platforms you can play it on, and I do believe it's all played. You can play it all online across different platforms as well, which makes it kind of interesting and pretty cool. So, if you guys don't have, um, you know, if you don't have a computer to kind of uh, hop on and play these games and you have a mobile device and you are checking it out the game, uh, it is available to you as well. So, let's go ahead and check it out. Here we are, we just logged in. As you can see, we have different levels here. So, it seems like there's like a level progression system. And obviously, we're going to start out here at level 1, so... Let's go ahead and check it out and kind of get a good feel for the game. So here we are, level 1. Got a little dialogue over here. I'm going to go ahead and skip that, jump right into the gameplay, try to get into the mechanics, get a good overview of the game. And alright, it is our turn. So let's go ahead and see what we got to do. Follow my instructions, we have to move a card onto the battlefield. Okay, got it. Makes sense. So let's go ahead and pick any card. I think it's giving us the freedom to pick any card right off the bat. So I guess we'll select these. And we'll throw it right here on the left. So click on the red attack button. Uh, oh. Click on the red button to end your turn and attack. All right, sounds pretty good, pretty straightforward so far. We put down a four four. Seems like a pretty good. Seems like a pretty good start. So our opponent put down a weaker card. So it seems like we're kind of at the advantage right now. All right, units facing each other will fight. They will deal damage equal to the attack value. Uh, value to the enemy's defense. All right, so pretty straightforward. If you guys have played any other kind of trading card game or Hearthstone and basically any kind of game along the same genre, this game should be very easy to pick up. And uh, should be very straightforward and not too difficult to kind of get a grasp of. So let's go ahead and place down another card. I think we'll go ahead and place this one down. So 3-5. So decent attack, stronger defense. Let's go ahead and do that. Place it down. And we're going to go ahead and click the red button to attack. I think we're going to win the trade-off over here. We take out their card. Our card's still up. And now it's our opponent's turn to uh, put down a card. Now he can't do anything, but once again, we still are at the upper hand over here. So... Next, we have this 4-4. I think we're going to go ahead and place this down, keep us at the advantage. we got to have map control at this point, and uh, there's not much the enemy can do. But next turn, I think he will be able to take out our card here. But once again, we have two more, so we're still at the advantage. So let's go ahead and attack. And uh, like I said, there was a trade-off there. We won, and it seems like we're dealing some damage over here, right to the face over there. So pretty good start. We're doing pretty solid. Uh, like I said, the game is very straightforward. Not too difficult and pretty easy to grasp. I mean, you got your attack, you got your defense, and not much to it. It's like a super simplified version of Hearthstone so far. So, let's go ahead and place down another 4-4. Four, four. After this turn, we're going to trade off, but we'll still have um, this card. And I think we'll be able to finish off with our middle one here. As you can see, he has 1 HP left. So, let's go ahead and end our turn. We'll do the trade off. We're going to attack right to the face. And I think that claims our victory, and it does. So... Very, very straightforward, not a lot to it, and um, it's basically kind of one of those super casual trading card games, as if they weren't pretty casual already, this game kind of really simplifies the whole genre in general, and it doesn't seem like there takes much to really pick up. Let's go ahead and progress on to level 2, and uh, see if it shows off some new features, and if not, I gotta say, this game is pretty simple right off the bat, so let's go ahead and pick a card to pick right off the bat, we're gonna go ahead and put down a 3-5. A pretty strong start there because we got the high defense. And let's go ahead and end our turn. Are you sure you want to end the turn without spending all of your action points? Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and hit cancel. And it seems like we can put more than one card down per turn. Uh, depending on depending on how many action points we have. So let's go ahead and put down a 4-4 four, four and a 3-4 over here. Oh, we don't have enough action points for that. So that's okay. We can put these two down. We'll go ahead and end our turn. And the enemy will take his turn. So let's go ahead and see what he's going to do. He put down a 3-4. That's going to be a decent trade-off, but we'll survive the fight there. And uh, only units in the front line can attack. At the start of a turn, units can move from support line to the front line. Okay, so I can see how the game's getting a little bit more in-depth now. As you can see, there's a defense line here, so we can put down more cards than just three. There'll be the defense supporting cards here that will kind of, you know, take the front lines after these guys to get taken out. And uh, these guys will be the one to attack. So I guess there could be a little bit of strategizing. And the game is getting a little bit more in-depth here with a few different features. It's gonna probably going to be introducing the more you progress down the road along the levels. But overall, the game is still very straightforward and super simple. So 
As you can see, we have two action points over here. I think that'll be good enough to put one card down. So let's go ahead and put down a 4-4 four, four on this side. And, oh, we have one more action point. So let's go ahead and put one right here in the support line. Should be good there. Choose an enemy unit when the card enters the battle. So let's go ahead uh, end our turn. Or let's go ahead and select there. We're going to do the damage here, end our turn, we're going to do the trade-off, we're going to survive that and hit him right to the face with our center card. And that ends our turn. Not much our opponent can do against us now, we're kind of really having uh, full board control. He can only place one card down, and um, it really, um, the rally point's just across. Okay, so giving us little tips to pop up over here, didn't get a chance to read it real quick. That's okay, let's go ahead and put down another support card, and... A uh, second support card, we're going to go ahead and end our turn, we're going to do the trade-off, and I think it's going to finish off the game right here. Minus 8 damage, he only had 4 health left, and once again, we claimed another victory. So, like I said, if you guys are used to trading card games such as Hearthstone, Magic, or any other kind of online trading card game, this one is very easy to pick up, you should have no problem playing it, and like I said, it is across multiple platforms, whether it's your PC, uh, you can play it through the browser, so PC, Mac, it's available on iOS and Android, so, I mean, Lemon, it's available to quite a few people, so if you guys are interested in this game, uh, it's definitely, um, definitely seems like it's pretty widely available to, uh, many players, and there's a lot to do in it, um, just because of how wide and diverse the player race can be, but other than that, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you've enjoyed, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe for more, but until next time, guys, I'll talk to you later.